is back together. Alan Nuckman and Jared Levy are tuning up on the floor CME group for this week's Traders Unplugged. Hello, guys. Let's get you going with topic number one. On the surface, Microsoft is stuck with millions of Surface tablets. What's next for the stock price? Well, I think it was a big mistake, but I look at this as a great opportunity. The stock's 15% off its recent highs, so it's holding at its midpoint support for the year between 36 and 26, so you can lean on uh, 31 and buy it here. You know, Al, he's still holding on to that Zune that Microsoft came out with you know, several years ago that was a complete failure. Microsoft is like a child. It just cannot execute a plan completely, and the company lacks a cohesion, a cohesive vision. Okay. They lose it. They spend all this money uh, oh. on marketing, and they've got a product that's half decent, but they can't get out to the people. I think Microsoft is dead money. I don't think its stock's going to sell off from here because it already has, but I think if you want to see the stock that does nothing, this midpoint, stay in Microsoft. You can buy a 25 call, and it's, the break even is about 30 or 40 cents above where, to, where we are now for 2015 strike price. Be in position. The Nasdaq made new highs this week. Microsoft is a winner. Be ready to wait to 2015. Topic number two, a Brazilian billionaire recently lost 33 million dollars in just 16 months he was big into oil what commodities are you guys big into all right so and, and listen that's part of the game right money flows from one person to another unfortunately that's the way the cookie 33 billion it's a lot of, okay that's, a lot, that's a lot of billions well here's the deal the thing is oil actually has been on the rise right right one, one commodity I am looking at is natural gas and in fact uh, you know Chesapeake energy I think is a great innovator I like the way that they hedge their bets we all nat natural gas prices have come off a little bit I think moving forward because we haven't had a very hot summer and they use a we lot haven't. of it for electricity that's right but uh, winter time big consumption there and also something else to keep in mind about natural gas good alternative to oil which is at all-time highs okay or, that's or nothing new highs, but the key for this guy losing all this money was the resurgence of the dollar the dollar made two and a half year highs here recently that really hurt a lot of commodities I think commodities are a value at some point I don't know if it's just yet though topic number three coin toss that effort is back to get rid of dollar bills and make a dollar coin is cash king and is this a good move? I still think the stock market has a whole lot more upside. Let me so, explain. If the PE goes to 17, oh if the boy. PE goes to 17, the S&P goes to 2,000. So what he's Choke saying is, on that. What he's saying is maybe you might want to move in the cash, actually. You know, interesting co point about this, this coin story. Didn't work with the Susan B. Anthony dollar. It hasn't worked in past times. I don't think it's going to work now. It works in Canada. It works in Australia. We're not it works in, in Europe. What you saved so how many can. billion dollars over the over the next thirty not years? Not going to happen. Paper okay. stain and yeah. Put your no, it's just because you're stubborn. You were also <laughs> against light bulbs. So let's let's put it in perspective. Have your bonus round question now. What do students own more of, PCs or tablets? PCs. PCs. Oh yeah, it's way it's much more. You both win. Great job as always, guys. And keep in mind, we are going to have a special Labor Day Traders Unplugged. We are asking our viewers to provide the questions for our traders. So feel free to shoot us an email at comments at firstbusinessnews.com. Thanks, guys. We'll see you back here next week. First Business News continues right after this.